All right, let's move on to our next running back, which is Mike Davis for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, he did a heck of a job last season filling in for a hurt CMC. Yeah. Do you think, and it really earned him this signing with Atlanta. Do you, what do you think his potential is this year? Do you think that he can stick it out and hold on to the job? Um, the entire season, the Falcons did draft JV and Hawkins. Um, actually, he's an uh, UDFA, excuse me. Um, but this it's Mike, it's the Mike Davis show in Atlanta. I mean, I, I love Gurley for this exact same reason last year. Um, and Gurley was what RB six, seven, the first eight weeks of the season, just because he was getting those touchdowns. So, my, I mean, Mike Davis was RB 15 last year. Christian McCaffrey played two of those games where Mike Davis didn't really do anything, maybe three. Um, Gurley was running back 25. So if Gurley is running back 25, I think that's Mike Davis's floor in, in the same offense or very similar. And so he's definitely an RB two at worst. Now, how high does his ceiling go? I don't know. Um, he had 59 catches last year. Mike Davis did. Gurley only had 25. I mean, personally, I think Davis is probably top, like a top 15 back Ooh. with like with like top seven upside. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, let's. I uh, wonder how he was fast great. I can... He was great last year. I mean. Who is he competing with? Brian Hill left. Ito Smith isn't there. Cordero Patterson's their backup running back. Like, like so the, it's, obviously it's all him. It is very early for ADPs, right? I mean, we're talking July 5th early for ADP. Um, but his ADP is ranging from the high 20s to the mid 60s so he's kind of going all over the place people don't know what to think it depends on yeah. if you're a jv and hawkins truther or not but at five foot eight 183 pounds i don't know how much i believe in hawkins <laughs> other than uh maybe on third down um yeah it's just but rookies with pass protection i don't know maybe nope. it's maybe it is the mike davis show it, it's the Mike Davis show. And and with, when they got close last year, they would just give the ball to Gurley three times. Like, and, you know, Julio's not there. Not that, you know, his touchdowns were ever, were ever significant. Um, Calvin Ridley is obviously still there. But, yeah, I just, I just think that he has that upside. Kind of like it almost a little bit like Raheem Mostert uh, last year where – I think the upside's there, and I think the floor's there, provided he doesn't get hurt. Um, so, yeah, he, he's a guy that I will be targeting pretty heavily um, after having Gurley in a league last year that I enjoyed all those touchdowns. And, I mean, Gurley was clearly um, very slowed by that knee, and Mike Davis doesn't have that. So, I, I just – he's going to – you don't have to worry about weather most of the time. You're in a dome – you're in the South where the weather's going to stay nicer come playoff time. So yeah, give me some Mike Davis. Yeah. The only thing that worries me about Mike Davis is really just that offense as a whole being so crappy, especially last year. Um, I don't know. I mean, it just gives me a little bit of pause about drafting Mike Davis. If you could get him at a value, I mean, I think he'll probably be there in the fourth to fifth round in most drafts. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, that's right. Where Raheem was last year. Well, I mean, you you just rattled off ADP anywhere from from twenties to sixties, um, so that that throws it in the second to fifth round. Um, so yeah, if he's sitting in there in the third, it's probably when you're going to pull the trigger, third or fourth. But we'll we'll get we'll get more into into draft strategies here as we get a little closer. Whoa! Didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was. <laughs>